Hello and welcome to my PHP tutorial part 4 classes and objects. One thing that I have to make very clear is uh, when setting or defining a property in a class and using the keyword private you, you cannot use the property outside of that pairing class that it's defined in. And for example if I want to use that property in the parent class and the child class that uh, property is not available for me because it's been specified that it's a private property. Now if I want to change that and I want to make that property in the parent class available all throughout the classes that extend from the parent class then all I simply do is change this keyword to var. And now that property is available to me to do as I wish in a child class and a child method and that's very very important now if for example I want to make a property of a class public and static I simply use the keyword public static and now this property has to be accessed using a different syntax you cannot use the this keyword variable. You would have to use the variable or the keyword self, or these two double lined segments here. And now I have access to that property. And really, a public static function or a public static property and or function is used in cases where the information contained in that that you've specified as being public or static will never change thus the word static uh, this can be used for database connections database connections generally don't change um, while in the same system so it doesn't make sense to make it private and every time you instantiate a class and create an object out of it to have the database connect over and over and over again. The smartest thing to do is create it into a public static function with public static properties. That way, the, the connection will always be uh, connected the first time it was uh, called. And that way you don't have to put uh, you know, like any weight or any uh, stress on your database. Uh, because of all the connections. So if you have a really massive, massive program that has to do lots and lots of queries, if you created that part of the object to be a private one and it's creating new instances of the connection, you can see where that type of system architecture uh, can be flawed and could create lots of headaches and lots of problems for you. So the best. So it's very important to understand differences between public static functions and or properties and private static uh, private functions and properties uh, so that's it for now thank you for watching if you have any more questions please go to www.evinw.com thank you